Welcome to the Charger Innovation Student Seminar. My name is Travis Baldwin Obas, and I'm a professor of communication. And my name is Alexandra Ryder, and I'm an assistant professor of communication here at Georgia Highlands College. And we are here today to talk to you about how to create and deliver the perfect pitch for your innovation project. First, we would like for you to consider who. Who are the teammates that you are working with? Who is the audience? What is your product? All of these things need to be considered as far as demographics are concerned, including your competitors. Absolutely, you always need to be thinking about your competitors, Therese. I'd like to add the what. So what is your product called? And what are all of its specifics? Are there any similar items out there on the market like yours? And with that being said, are there any differentiating factors that make your product unique? Very good things to consider. Another tip is the when. How long will it take you to create this product? What is the time frame or the parameters needed to get it ready for market? Absolutely, they say timing is everything. Absolutely. So now I'd like to talk about the where. Where are your customers located? Are they local? What is your proximity of your product to your customers? You also need to consider where your competitors are located. And you also need to make sure that your customers know where you're located and where they can find you. Do you have a website? or are you on social media and can you give them the, the handles so they can follow you? Absolutely. Next is the why. What is your motivation for creating this product or service? As we've mentioned, competition is something you have to consider. So what specific need does the consumer have for this particular product? And what issue or problem does your product help resolve? Absolutely, and why should they mm -hmm. buy your product? Mm -hmm. That's something that I would always ask myself. Mm -hmm. Now, I wanna talk about the how. How does your product work? We need to see this in action. Can you do a demonstration for the mm -hmm. judges? We'd like to see how it works from A to Z. And we would love to see some before and afters because nothing works like visualization. People buy products because they have problems they need to solve. So if you can show us a before and after, that would be fabulous. Last but certainly not least, you have to consider cost. How much will this product cost you to make and produce? And what will be the retail price that you place it on the market for? Absolutely, because they wanna make money, mm -hmm. right? Absolutely. Yes, so I think we're gonna leave you with some final tips now. What I'd like to talk about is your time. As a speech and communications professor here at GHC, I always tell my students how vital it is that they stay within the designated time frames for their presentations. We're expecting the same from you. Couldn't agree more, Alex. And in addition to that, one thing you want to consider is making eye contact. Yes, you will be working with a team or group, but you want to make sure each one of you makes eye contact with each other and also with the judges. Absolutely, it seems more natural that way, mm -hmm. doesn't it? It does. I want to leave you with my final tip, which is be enthusiastic. If you're not excited about your product, well, why should we? So we wanna hear it in your pitch, hear how excited and enthusiastic you are and why we absolutely positively cannot live without buying your product. And with those three wonderful tips, we have one more. So the fourth tip we would suggest is to simply practice. You could have the best product, the best service, but if you fail to practice what you want to talk about, it could actually sink that perfect pitch that we are aiming for. Absolutely. And we want to leave you with one final piece of motivation. Alex, are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Go Chargers! Go Chargers!